What up dudes, it's Gaz, and welcome back to another Warframe video. Today we're going over one of the most powerful pistols in the entire game. Like, honestly. We're going over the Nell Prime, which is Harrow Prime's signature pistol. And we'll be talking about some bugs with this thing, because there's some good bugs with it, and there's some real bad bugs with it. They're kind of ruining the weapon currently. So before we get to it, make sure you're sub to the YouTube channel and all that stuff, and make sure you hit the follow button on the live stream channel as well to see when we go live. All right, so the Nell Prime. This is going to be the upgraded version of the Nell, the normal Nell. Spoiler alert. So as far as stats on the Nell Prime and what you're looking at here, it's pretty much a sniper pistol. Uh, normally, you've got one round in the magazine. When you're using Harrow or Harrow Prime, this thing goes to two rounds in the magazine, as it is Harrow's signature pistol. You're getting a special buff with him. But yeah, normally one round in the magazine. Uh, so you have to reload if you miss uh, after every shot. This thing is full auto, and it's got a two-second reload. So... Looking at that already, you might be like, "Why? What, this thing is just terrible. You have to reload after every shot. Well, there is a special passive to this thing. When you get a headshot with the Nell or the Nell Prime, it goes into Death Nell mode. And Death Nell mode is very metal sounding for a reason. It basically just turns the gun into a monster. When you get a headshot, you get infinite ammo, you get increased crit damage, and you get increased status chance. And if you keep getting headshots, you can stay in infinite ammo, crazy crit damage, and status chance mode until there are no heads left to shoot. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much how the pistol works. And since you've got infinite ammo, you can just, you know, pull the button down as it's full auto. Um, you can mod for fire rate. Fire rate is just basically free damage on the Nell Prime. Um, and let's just wait until the buff runs out. Very slow. The, the reload speed on the Nell Prime is one of the biggest downfalls. So we just hold on the button. It is full auto. So, as far as crit stats on the Nell Prime, they are really good. Let's just compare it to the normal Nell. As you can see, I was a normal Nell fan. We've got double the crit chance on the Nell Prime. Uh, we've got increased fire rate. We've got increased crit multiplier. We've got increased status chance. Double the status chance, too. We've got 30 more base damage. So, it's really good. Um, now, another nice thing as well is you mod for crit chance with Prime Pistol Gambit. That 40% crit chance goes to 114. So, you can orange crit with a Nell Prime... With no outside buffs. Just with this mod right here. So, if you don't have this, make sure you get it for the Nell Prime. And as far as the rest of the build, we are going for a, uh, basically a viral build. Which is going to have galvanized shot as well. This does work on the Nell Prime. It gives you, it's basically condition overload for guns, which, which was recently added. Um, but yeah, we've got a pretty standard, you know, viral build. There's no hunter munitions for pistols, unfortunately. Um, and like I said, you do want the mod for some fire rate. So, Lethal Torrent is a great mod to choose from. If you don't want some of these other stats, maybe you don't think you want to run viral or whatever, uh, more fire rate is going to be your best friend. Because, like I said, you get infinite ammo. Infinite ammo and fire rate just go hand-in-hand -hand together for uh, just increased damage. As you can see my Riven mod right here, we've got critical damage and fire rate. So my fire rate goes from 8 to 10.29. And I also get a crit damage increase of another almost 3. As you could notice on this right here, one of the good bugs of the Null Prime is that the Riven Dispo is currently at four dots, which is the disposition of the normal Nell. Even the wiki is wrong on this. It says that the Dispo is 0.5. It is actually currently point whatever it is, 1.1 1 .1 or whatever. Um, as far as uh, Exilus slots, there's not really many options as we don't really need an ammo mutation. This thing does have a small ammo pool sometimes, but ideally you'll always be in death Nell mode with infinite ammo, so we want steady hands. Uh, minus 60% recoil here, and we have secondary deadhead as this is a very headshot-focused weapon. Uh, Primary or secondary deadhead giving you increased headshot multiplier and you get increased damage on headshot kills. Also, another minus 50 percent recoil. So we've got over 100% minus recoil on here. It has no recoil at all. And since these enemies are in the simulacrum, uh, are corrupted, we put on Prime Bane the Corrupted. If you don't want to run a Bane mod, just put Hornet Strike in that slot or maybe even put your Riven in that slot. Or if you want to deal with hordes even better, you can put some punch through. Unfortunately for pistols, there are not many punch through mods. We're only looking at Seeker pretty much. And it's a 15 drain dash polarity mod. So if you get a Riven mod for the Nell Prime, consider getting maybe Fire 8 punch through, crit chance, crit damage. Uh, because punch through is something that is pretty valuable in this thing of trying to deal with hordes. And there's not really any way to do it. So yeah, like I said, normally one round in the magazine. But with Harrow, it's two. And let's just quickly show it um, with Harrow. So I'm gonna just we're gonna use Harrow's bus because this this weapon is really fun with Harrow, and then we'll go over the the bad bugs here. So let's just buff it up. We're gonna use Harrow's four to get red crits. We'll use Harrow's two to get increased fire rate, and we'll actually use Harrow's chain to get easy headshots too. This we weapon literally was made for Harrow, and you can tell. So right there, after one kill, let's get our galvanized CO stacked up. 
you'll be hitting million damage uh, red crits with Harrow and this weapon. So, very good. This Remember, this is with no Riven at all. Now, we do have Arcan Avenger, to be fair. Um, we're running the Harrow build uh, from the video a couple days ago. I will link that in the description if you want to check that out. That was 157,000 slash proc right there on a not slash proc weapon. Now, let's just let's show how it works if you don't get a headshot. Let's say I, I flub it up, I hit his body. That's you reloading for two seconds. You need to make sure you're hitting your shots. That's why Harrow is really good, as, you know, chaining him up very easy. You can just have your... Do, do what you please afterwards, pretty much. Now, let's show this big bug and what actually ruined the gameplay footage for today's video. So, you're like, okay, well, if I as long as I headshot, hit a headshot, I'm good, right? Unfortunately not. If you go into Operator while the headshot buff is active, it bugs out, and it seems to go back to semi-auto for the rest of the mission. So... Yeah, my, my death, knell bug, uh, death Knell buff has just bugged out now that I've used Operator while the buff is active. Completely ruining the gun. So hopefully they fix this and don't nerf the Riven Dispo back to normal. Because .5 Dispos ain't fun for anyone. Um, let's show some Steel Path gameplay here before we call it a day. And like I said, uh, it unfortunately is bugged. And I, I killed one Steel Path Demolist instantly. But once the second Steel Path Demolist appeared, I had used Operator at that point and it bugged out. We'll also go over some weapon grades for this weapon. As it actually has very good weapon grades. All right, so we are on the Steel Path on a Disruption mission, so we're fighting a Steel Path Demolist. And I am using Harrow, like I said. I do definitely recommend using this on Harrow, just because he makes it... He, he, he escalates everything on here to even a higher level. You know, you're getting your increased crit, crit damage. Harrow gives you red crits. You want that fire rate for, um, for more DPS. He gives you fire with this, too. Here's a Demolist right here. As, as, long, as soon as Death Knell procs, they're done. As you can see right here... Done for. Done, completely done for. I missed most of those shots, to be honest. So, very, very good for the Steel Path. Um, you can go for a Corrosive if you if you uh, prefer that. You can go for a, a Viral build. You can even go for, like, a Radiation or a Gas build if you really wanted to. Um, it's very versatile, uh, and, you know, it, it, it responds very well to outside buffing. Like, if I was to use, like, Rhino Roar with this Harrow buff and all that, it would be even stupider. Um, and then here it is bugging out. I think I actually died against this Nox, too, just because I was like... I was trying to make. I was trying to fix the gun, basically. I'm like, why is it not firing full auto? It became semi-auto again, um, or rather, the death knell buff was broken. I'm like, what's going on here? It it just bugs. So they need to fix that. Let's go over some weapon grades here. Um, now, as far as mob clear, I'm gonna give it a B, an above average score. Uh, and if you have a punch through ribbon, I could I could see you definitely escalating it to like an A score, an excellent mob clearing grade. Um, but as it stands right now, you know, as long as you as long as you have enemies to shoot and the weapon does not bug out, it will clear through. This is basically as good as it gets as far as generic assault rifles are concerned. And here it is bugging on this Nox. Obviously, I hit a headshot, at least two headshots before this. It's not working, and just one thing led to another, and I'm dead. So, as far as gameplay, you know, wait until it gets bug fixed, pretty much. Um, but mob clearing B, if you could actually make it work, acolyte clear speed, I'm gonna go with an S. If you can get if you get a headshot on the acolyte, the acolyte's dead. Mod for Corrosive, destroy Acolytes even faster, uh, and you, you will kill them in less than five seconds, honestly. It, it's, it's very good against Acolytes, especially if you're playing Harrow. His chains do work on Acolytes, uh, remember that. So it can, it can help you just... It's a joke. I mean, there's other... Now, here's the reason it's not S-tier against Acolytes. Well, rather, it is S-tier against Acolytes, but we're not talking about the same S-tier as some other weapons. Like, the, the Trumna can literally one-doink the Acolyte... You could probably one doink an acolyte with this, but it's not going to be anywhere near as consistent. It's more like going to be like a four or a five shot. And not like we're really counting shots with a Nell anyway because it fires so quickly. So here it is, my ribbon. Just increased crit damage pretty much. And yeah. And as far as max stats potential, uh, I went with a uh, I went with a B here, above average, because it's got IPS. It, it just the, the nature of you getting the increased status chance with the Nell buff and all this crazy fire rate and, like, endless ammo, it kind of made sense to go with a B. Uh, ideally, it realistically might be more of a C, where it's like, you know, we're just getting impact puncture slash and whatever you mod it for elemental-wise. Uh, but it, the, the fact they can shoot out so many sh uh, shots so quickly is, is why I want to go with a higher grade on that. An overall grade of an A. An, an excellent weapon, honestly. One of the best pistols in my game. In my, in, one of the best pistols in the game, in my opinion. Um, now, it's not, it's not like AoE clearing, but... If you look at the pistol options we have, really AoE clearing is not really pistol strong suit. If you're looking for AoE clearing pistols, one of your best bets is going to be the Max Crit Spore Laser. And honestly, I've been using this the last couple days. Compared to like the Brahma, the Ogress, and all the Zara and all that, this thing does not really feel anywhere near like the AoE is that big, honestly. And we've got things like the Zymos, which is going to like, do crazy damage but require... Um, it's, it's similar to the Nell, honestly, where it requires headshots to get those that crazy bee swarm. 
That weapon, the, the Zymos is slower than this, honestly, because you have to wait for the bees to come out. But the bees are technically AoE, I'd say. Um, so, you know, the fact that we're comparing this to the Zymos should be a very good thing for the Nell, honestly. So, yeah, guys, it's very, very powerful. I highly recommend getting it. The uh, the ribbons might get nerfed down, but certain weapons, like the Athodi, when the Athodai came out, that thing had bug dispo when it came out. They never actually ended up nerfing it. So, maybe they'll forget about, like, the Athodai, and we'll have uh, crazy Nell ribbons uh, until... Some random day that it's either from. So yeah, as far as like God roll stats, your your go your go to crit stuff. I'd say fire rate is actually very valuable on here because of that infinite ammo. Uh, the minus zoom could be okay. Minus uh, maybe minus puncture could potentially be decent as well. Uh, but it does have a lot of impact too. So maybe imp minus impact potentially as well. So either way, guys, hope you found it a helpful video. I'll see you tomorrow for another one. And thanks for all the support, guys. Take it easy. Peace.